Hey, this is Dave Gleason. I'm head coach at Athletic Revolution in Pembroke, Massachusetts. And today I have another installment um, that has to do with youth soccer fitness um, and coaching. Uh, really, this translates into any sport, any coaching setting that, that you could imagine, whether it's a strength coach, whether it's a fitness coach for a group of kids, um, whether it's a facility like this where you know, that's all you do is work with kids from the ages of 6 to 18 years old, or, um, you know, as I said before, youth soccer fitness. And this came to mind as I was on a, a forum for our, our town website, and uh, I saw a quote from a coach that everybody seemed to really like, and it got me to thinking, you know, we can't take this for granted, and this is what I mean. The quote said something like this, you know, that uh, at the end of the practice, I told all the kids on the team, why we did what we did in the session and how it's going to help them. And the, then the next part of that was he was talking about how he couldn't believe how the kids really took that in, uh, absorbed it and remembered it, and it's helped him in his subsequent practices after that. Um, so what I want to do right now is encourage you and not take that for, uh, for granted. This doesn't go for just older kids either. It could be a six to nine year old group, uh, a 10 to 13 year old group, high school kids. Um, if you're a youth soccer coach, U6 all the way through U18. Get your kids involved in the process. Let them know, listen, we're gonna do this skill or this work on this drill right now because it's going to help you X, Y, and Z in the future. Um, even if they don't get it yet, start laying the groundwork for that. Um, your older kids especially are going to understand if they understand, they're going to be more vested in the process that you've put together to make them better players, better athletes, and hopefully better human beings. So with that said, keep your athletes involved. Let them know what's going on, you know, minute to minute. I don't wait till the end of the class. Every single class, we go over expectations first, and then what we're going to be trying to accomplish in that class. We're going to be doing X, Y, Z, then we're going to play a game, then we're going to do A, B, C, play another game, and I tell them why we're going to do that. Within the context of each drill or activity for skill development, I'll explain, listen, we're doing this because, you know, when you go to change direction on the soccer field, this is going to help you. Oh, they kind of get that a little bit. So anyway, thanks for your time. Now, all of this has to do with the art of coaching. And I've learned most, if not all of this, from the IYCA. That's the International Youth Conditioning Association. Go there today so you can learn more about the art of coaching young kids. It's www.iyca.org. This is Dave Gleason signing off. Till I talk to you next time. Bye-bye.